Hey guys, Dustin here, Ion Games in Studio, continuing my professional wrestling video game series, and today, World Championship Wrestling on the NES. I was lucky enough when I purchased this that the store owner only saw the cart, and we negotiated the price, then he got the thing out, had it already labeled, I didn't talk him up or down, but it had the instruction book, which I greatly appreciated, I keep it in my dust sleeve, because that's how you keep Nintendo games. Today, as I said on the old NES, at least through my Retron 5. This is World Championship Wrestling. As a matter of fact, let's reset this and let you see what she looks like. World so there it is. 1989 game. This is when WCW was actually the name of the TV show, uh, not the name of the company. It was still the NWA, the National Wrestling Alliance. And this game is actually, I would say, a lot better than most <laughs> wrestling games. First off, you've got 12 wrestlers available here. And, of course, Hawk Warrior and Animal Warrior are the Road Warriors, uh, known more likely to the Legion, as the Legion of Doom to wrestling fans now. So, how you play this game is rather interesting. Your D-pad and your button, let me get my controller to go over around here, will determine what you do. The... A button, you get to set what it does. So I will show you. And this changes between matches, which is really fun. So we start off against Michael Hayes. And here you go. These are the moves you get to select what does what. So I'm going to take a Brain Buster, a Pile, a pile Driver, a Boston Crab, and a Cobra Twist for Sting. So now you go into the game. I'm going to pause it here. So now you go into the game. And the direction plus A, which is the second button here for those of you new to the show, new to the game, deter you use that move. The Cobra Twist, the Boston Crab, those are submission holes. You just jam A and B and hope you get your opponent worn down. And I'll show you, though, you determine the power to determine on how much you do and how hurt your opponent is. And I'll show you that in a little bit. The B button... If you press up and B, that's a headbutt. If you press down and B, that's a body slam. Left or right and B is an Irish whip into the ropes. Now they say all you have to do to climb up to the top rope in this game is to go to the corner and press A or B. It's really hard to get up there, I've found. Maybe that's one of the glitches in the Retron. I don't know. I can get up there once in a good while. Uh, it's more risk than reward. So here we go. Sting versus Michael Hayes. So you have to damage your opponent down with, a, with some kicks, and then here I go, I'm going to do a little Cobra Twist, and you saw that little meter, that is what determines how much damage I do. You press B to pick your opponent up, and then I'm going to back up. Okay, if your opponent starts getting the kicks on you, you're probably just going to be in trouble. Oh, I tried for a headbutt, Hayes got me. The computer can be very cheap. <laughs> Once again, this is Dustin Ion Games playing World Championship Wrestling on the NES through my glorious Retron 5. Hayes with a brain buster now. It's Michael P.S. Hayes, the Hall of Famer. If they get you in the corner, you're not going to do much in the way of moves. Hayes is whooping me good now. So I've got to get some offense in here. So I back up. And I hit a pile driver. If you press A, you will cover. Ah, he got me. So I'm going to wait for him. See if I can get the kicks in first. There's a big brain buster from the stinger. And I found you really can't corner trap them as well as they can corner trap you. Got a couple. Wow! Michael Hayes with a big lariat there. 
This is the old Boston Crab, not the Scorpion. So after you've worn your opponent down a lot, you can A and B together, and that will let you do your special move, which Sting does do the Scorpion Deathlock, which is a sharpshooter some of you wrestling fans who are wrong. This is the Cobra Twist. We would know it more as an abdominal stretch. And I'm trying to wear Michael Hayes down to where I can just get a hold of him here. And you're just going to find yourself doing that kick a lot. Alright, I've got him hurt. Let's see if I can go up top. Now, B and A together also gets you running. Ah! Oh, they had a good offensive run going there. Oh, and the Lariat! You see the graphics, though. I mean, you can tell. Especially if you try the old WWF games. You can tell who's who. All right, I got Hayes pretty hurt by the gauging of that pile driver. So I'm going to try to punch him with the B button here. Nope, he got me. So you can tell he's got me pretty hurt, too. All right, I'm going to back up. See if I can get the pile driver in. I'll get my move in. Nope. And a back suplex. No, atomic drop. Michael Hayes. That is not the scorpion. <laughs> Seven. He gives up to the abdominal stretch. When's the last time you saw that? Hey, if you just tuned in, my name is Dustin. This is Ion Gage. I'm playing World Championship Wrestling on the Nintendo Entertainment System Original through my beautiful Retron 5 original controllers, though. I just defeated Michael P.S. Hayes as Sting. And if you like what you're seeing, please like, subscribe, and share. This isn't a live broadcast. What I'm doing now is I'm live streaming through Twitch, archiving it to YouTube, and on Twitch for that matter, too. Look me up on Twitch at ion for life just like my Twitter handle. And this is Ion Games. Now, it's not Ion wins games always, but at least it's Ion Games. Let's head to the next match. I got Rick Steiner. He is tough. All right, so once again, you get to pick. And I still want to go with my Brain Buster, my Pile Driver, my Boston Crab, and my Cobra Twist. I find it's nice to have some submission moves because occasionally you'll get lucky. Got him. Two, three, four. Little Pile Driver to start things off. See if you hit A, you cover. Ah, you got me. All right. A little body slam. Once again, there's no charge on the body slam. A little Cobra twist, or as we would call it, a abdominal stretch once again. Good, good for paying attention out there. You know, I find it funny that I've been broadcasting now for just about a month, and whenever I play WWE games, I tend to get copyright violations. And the first ones were for uh, the intro to the show on 2K17 that you can't even skip, which resulted in my videos being banned in over 200 countries. I found that very interesting. Uh, it's nice to be banned. I have disputed those claims and won. I, I talked about the claims on another video, so I want to update you folks here. Uh, DWB removed their claim, which I appreciated. Um, the funniest thing was I ended up with two new ones on the newest video from... Uh, yesterday, when I was live streaming on Twitch and archived it to YouTube, um, it got me for using the music of the WWE, which I did not uh, choose to do. You have a 20 count to get back in the game. You do have to press the button. And Rick Steiner's on top of me. Once again, it's called Dustin Plays. Ion Plays games, not Ion Wins games. So now I'm going to try to get back on the track here and do some damage myself. A little Cobra Twist. If you get the 7th iteration, you're probably going to get the win. And uh, let me pause that for a moment so I can talk about this. So I ended up getting called out for using the theme to SmackDown and Sasha Banks' music. Now the Sasha Banks one may have been my fault. I think I was singing it. But... I find it ironic that I win one copyright claim for reason A, and they find a reason, two more reasons to claim it. So I removed the music from the video. I'm interested to go back and watch it now and see what happened, how my video sounds, if I should just mute for that point, or if you can still at least hear me talking, which I hope is a highlight for you folks. Uh, the other one I had was on my Double Dragon video, and I have disputed that. I, I, I'd like just some clarity, frankly. Um, 
I don't know what of the 10 seconds these people had trademark violated me for. It's not a violation, not a strike or anything. Oh, Steiner tries the... Let's see if I can get a pin here. One. Two. Nope, two can only. Let's see if I can catch him. Oh, look at that damage. Boston Crab. If I win, we'll call it the Scorpion, huh? I'm going to move around here. I do not want to get him, get, put him in a position where he can hit me. Good. Ladiatu! Nope, can't seem to get it done. I'll pick him up. And you just kick him down. Couldn't get the finisher, it wasn't quite time. Oh. She just got out of the way, huh? Oh, look, this is the leg drop from the dog faced gremlin. This is from the time in WCW where Rick Steiner was kind of special. The Scorpion Deathlock is in, ladies and gentlemen. I finally got it to work. I'm just jamming the buttons. Steiner taps out to the Scorpion, and the Stinger moves on. Do you like that there at the end, too, by the way? Like, yeah, that they do. I, I remember as a kid, this was a rare one for me to find and play, but I always enjoyed it. 2-0, the Stinger in 306, moving along. Now, here's the thing. You'll notice I defeated a couple guys. If you beat everyone, you get the world title. But how do you save? Well, I have a Retron 5. I can just make a save state. Um, which, as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to I'm gonna make a, a save state right now. There we go. So now I've got Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert. Let's go with the same lineup. Brain Buster, Pile Driver, Boston Crab, Cobra Twist. Hey, you know what? Let's give you two new ones here. I'll do a Bulldog. Let's just start from the beginning. I'll do a, uh, a Neck Breaker, a Bulldog... A backdrop and a double arm suplex. Now this is without the submissions, which means I've got a little more work to do. There's hot stuff wearing his shades in the ring. Isn't that nice? Eddie Gilbert, one of those classic mid south guys that was gone too soon. Uh, you know, everyone has their demons to battle and hot stuff battled his. So you back up and you hope you don't get caught in the corner like that, and I did. There's the neck breaker. Ugh. I gotta back up and hope I don't get hit too much before I start hitting him back. There we go. Oh, and he got me. I got a couple hits on him now, though, so all I gotta do is. Ooh, that was good. Bulldog! Oh! Remember that was a devastating finisher? <laughs> and not just when Trish Stratus would do it. Let's see if I can get on him. I did. Another Bulldog. This one's a little stronger. Let's see if I can get up in the corner. I cannot. So now I'll move along. Oh, Hot Stuff gets the advantage. Looks like a back suplex. Yes, it is. You know, when I was playing this last night to warm up, because I decided not to have to try to figure out controls in front of you fine people. I, you're, you're not tuning in to see me figure out how to play the game. You want to see it play. Maybe he's just too close. Let's see if I can get a pin here. One, two, nope, 1.7. Oh, man, and Hot Stuff didn't like that. Immediately into a suplay, as Gordon Soley used to call it. Hey, what are your, some of your favorite professional wrestling memories? I, I've i got mine, and I, I'll happily discuss those. Uh, calling back to Gordon Soley, there's a fun one for me. See if I can get away with this here. Holy crap, I did. Little neck breaker, ravishing Rick Root style. Let's see where he's at on the damage here. One... Two, two can only. How does he like the back suplex when I do it to him? Oh, he got me. Damage there. Big neck breaker from Hot Stuff, and I might be in trouble. Let's see if I can catch him. Oh, he's really hurt. I think I might be able to get the scorpion on him, guys. Let's see. Move to 3 and 0. So I was talking about saving earlier, and it's after you defeat a certain number of opponents that the game will let you save. There's a big double arm suplex from the Stinger. 
the last time you saw him do that, even if you think back to the 80s. So after Hot Stuff, I'm optimistic that I'll get the save if I win. Oh, here's a submission move. Now, see, you can fall victim to the submission moves, too. And they do hurt, and you don't have to do them as often as you do... Oh, full strength. Let's see if I can get the pin off that butterfly suplex. One, two, three. And the Stinger gets the win. Three and oh, that's way better than last night. I started off 0 and 2, won a couple, and then I couldn't get through Eddie Gilbert to save my life. I was playing as Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, who is in this game. Uh, it's, it's so fun to see some of these guys. I'm just going to make a save state. There we go. <laughs> nice to have the emulation machine, isn't it? So, one of my favorite wrestling memories would have to be, and I'll just go to the one here so you guys can see me talk for a few minutes. I was at WrestleMania 25 with the man who got me into the wrestling business. Uh, I wrestled for a few years and never went anywhere, but I did promote for a few more years after that. And I'm a decent manager, if I do say so myself. Any of you guys that see this from my social media feed that worked with me, be brutally honest, but keep it PG-13, huh? I was at WrestleMania 25, and I'll never forget Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker. Um... It's been called the greatest match of all time, and I'd have to agree. Uh, I'm proud to say I promoted what I would call the second best match of all time between Jack Gamble and the Iceman Howard Moritz in a ladder match for my Missouri Championship at my one of my Marceline shows. And the worst part of that show, though, was that we only had about 40 people in the crowd, and those two guys went out there with a ladder and darn near killed each other. But, man, it was great, and Jack Gamble got a good win. You can see that video on YouTube. Just look up MCW Iceman versus Gamble. It should show up. Uh, big shout-out to both those guys and anyone who ever worked with me or for me. You're awesome, and let's go on with the show. Huh? There's our password. How about that? Write that down while you're here. Pause the video and then turn it back on. That'll get you to 3-0 with Sting. All right, moving on. Now I've got Dr. Death Steve Williams. He was so huge. All right, so I'm going to go Brain Buster, Pile Driver, Neck Breaker, and I really want to focus on the head here, so I'm going to take the Bulldog. All right, let's do it. Dr. Death and I had a similar outfit choices today. I might have him. Ah, he got me. What's he going to do? The choke! Dr. Death's working heel tonight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> So while you're in the submissions or in anything, you just mash buttons and hope. Oh, don't mash too hard, kid. Wow! Dr. Death with a body... Nope, leg drop. I thought it was just going to be the body slam, but he got the guillotine drop, as they call it. Sometimes you just have to fight out of the corner. Dr. Death is pretty laid out, but it's not going to do me any good. Oh, he got me with three quick strikes. You wouldn't think Dr. Death would be faster than Sting. He's about to wallop me. Oh, gosh. That would be a DQ today, wouldn't it, ladies and gentlemen? How about a brain buster on the outside? And Dr. Death facing the 20 count since it's early. Oh, man, Steve Williams is rocking me there. <coughs> Excuse me. Come on, give it to me. Big neck breaker to Dr. Death. Oh, man, I am weakened. I just got hit in the head with a wrench. What do you want? <laughs> little tete-a-tete -tete there with punches and kicks being traded, and I am weakened. Dr. Death has me hurting. Get the brain buster. Can the stinger overcome? You can even nearly see the face paint. I mean, that's so cool. Uh-oh. What's this? Oh, the choke. I might tap. Three, four, five, six. No, I got out of six. All right. You get that seventh one, it's probably over. Oh, man, I can't get anything on Dr. Death here. Another guillotine drop. In the new games, he'd be getting checked for uh, unoriginality. I think I only have six moves, too, so. One, 
two, three, four, five. Nope. By the way, uh, you notice who's voice capturing the I give up if, when it happens. It's Michael Hayes. And I think that's kind of cool. I can't get any more offense in. Dr. Death is destroying me. He doesn't like that we had the same tights picked out. One, two, three. No, 2.9. Can I stay get back on offense? Big, big move there. Man! Rope break, ha huh? I'm hurt, and he's not moving. This might be my benefit. Ah! Tried to get out of him. What's he got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. I gave up at six. Wow. What well, taking a wrench to the head? That's what you get. <laughs> hey, folks, I'd like to thank you for tuning in. That's going to be part, I believe, three of our retrospective on professional wrestling video games. That, of course, was WCW World Championship Wrestling, back before that was the name of the company, on the Nintendo Entertainment System through my beautiful Retron 5. Next time, we're going to be playing this game right here. Tecmo World Wrestling, and this may be one of the better and more interesting wrestling games on the system, so we'll leave it at that. I'd like to thank you for watching, and once again, if you like what you're seeing, hit that like button, subscribe, share it with your friends. I'm Dustin, this is Ion Games, and we will see you next time. This has been a Clambake Productions podcast. Thanks for listening.